Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Frankentune Studio. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use El Malo Illustration Kit, a comprehensive digital art pack created for Affinity Designer. This kit offers a wide range of vector-based brushes and Affinity styles inspired by street art, vintage handmade posters, and block print artwork. The El Malo brushes are user-friendly and fun to use, allowing you to create intricate pen and brush strokes with just a few clicks. With this unique and exciting kit, you can approach vector illustration differently and create clean vector shapes and strokes that look handmade. Without any further ado, let's get started. Go to the top menu, Affinity Designer, and select My Account. You'll find El Malo pack with the other packs you may have purchased. Click Download, and that's it. Go to the main menu, File, and select Import Content. Locate the files you've downloaded, select them all, and click Open. Wait until all content is loaded into the app. Some confirmation dialogues will appear, showing you the type of content that has been imported. Go to the main screen. You'll find the My Account button at the bottom left of the screen. You'll find your purchased files on the content screen. Tap the download button to get your files into the app. Tap the Affinity Designer logo, select Import Content, and browse to the folder you download your Affinity files. Select them all and tap Open. Wait until the content has been fully imported, then accept all confirmation dialogues. You'll find all your brushes, styles, and swatches imported into the app. Easy as that. El Malo contains 130 vector-based brushes for Affinity Designer split into five categories. With these brushes, you can easily create shading effects that resemble groovy block prints. With this kit, you can quickly achieve various tonal values and textures. It has numerous options for creating natural-looking hatching patterns. This kit offers a wide range of options, from essential monoliners to bold brush strokes. This kit includes unique stippling shaders and multi-line mono shaders that mimic the look of Linocut art. Finally, this collection of brushes gives you numerous choices for achieving multi-line parallel shading with just one click. At first, the number of El Malo brushes may seem overwhelming, however, they are organized in a way that allows you to use all of them without worrying about which brush to use for specific cases. El Malo offers 42 color styles created with natural marker textures to preserve each color's pigment characteristics and tonal variations. These seamless textures can be easily scaled and rotated. Moreover, El Malo color styles come with custom rough borders that enhance the realism of your vector shapes. As a bonus, 
El malo includes 42 swatches as well. These colors are perfect for matching your vector brushes with the marker styles. Using El Malo brushes is extremely simple. Start by drawing a path using the pen tool. Choose a brush from the panel. You can also draw directly using a stylus or a Wacom tablet. Vector based brushes offer great flexibility as you can customize them in numerous ways to achieve the desired look. Select a stroke and open the stroke panel. From this panel, you can use the width slider to change the thickness of your brush. To go beyond 100 points, you must enter values manually. Experiment with altering the width of your brushes to achieve various effects, particularly with a stippling and shader brushes. You can adjust how your stroke behaves through the pressure curve. This curve will impact the width of your stroke, making it wider or narrower in real time. This curve is essential for achieving optimal stroke flexibility and ensuring it fits seamlessly into any given space. You can change the direction of your brushes using the reverse curves function. This comes in handy when a brush is not applied in the direction you need. You can combine El Malo brushes to produce different textures and effects. A great example is using hatching brushes to make patterns by adjusting their position and weight. Another way you can mix these brushes is to use two or more weight liners to create some primitive gradients. For this demo, I will use this rough sketch. With El Malo, you can create beautiful illustrations out of almost anything. Trace your drawing using the pen tool, creating closed paths. Then I start adding color using El Malo styles. You can adjust the borders of your styles using the width slider. I suggest beginning with a small selection of colors to become familiar with the different styles gradually. This process is super fun, similar to a paint-by-numbers activity. We can already see the gorgeous subtle textures working together. After adding color, I use the gradient tool to adjust my texture size and position. To start shading, I draw a stroke and choose a brush from any of El Malo libraries. You can clip this brush to your shape if you need to. I'm applying the core mechanics we've seen before, which are drawing a path, choosing a brush and adjusting its size and color. Rinse and repeat. A great thing about this pack is that you don't need a specific brush to perform a particular task. You can have fun exploring El Malo libraries and trying different brushes. I like to use blending modes to create smooth color transitions. I especially love the average mode. As mentioned previously, you can use the vector brush tool to apply El Malo brushes. However, this method is more precise for adding textures as you have complete control over your strokes. An easier way to clip your strokes is by using the cut command from the edit menu. Selecting your target shape and choosing paste inside from the same edit menu. Another technique I use is to apply a single brush to shade an entire shape, like this treetop. This is a terrific time saver.
Remember the pattern method I showed you a couple of minutes ago? I use this technique all the time. It produces a beautiful line of cut style finish. Although El Malo illustration kit draws inspiration from traditional printing techniques, it balances a digital appearance and a handmade aesthetic. Your vector artwork will get a breath of fresh air with vibrant subtle textures along with intricate brush strokes. I suggest using El Malo brushes in a freestyle manner, adding random strokes to create exciting textures throughout your artwork. You can emphasize contours with liner brushes or use, for example, hatching brushes for that exact purpose. It doesn't matter, use trust in your gut to create eye-catching patterns. To make learning El Malo easier, approach this pack with a fun and experimental mindset, as if you were a kid. Using this Affinity Designer kit will lead you to unexpected results, inspire your work, and ultimately fulfill our goal of creating an amusing tool for you to use. If you want to add a unique touch to your design work, you'll love El Malo. This versatile tool is perfect for both professionals and hobbyists alike. Professionals would appreciate the wide range of vector brushes inspired by street art and handmade artwork. These brushes can add an urban vibe to your graphic design, editorial illustrations and branding projects. And if you're a hobbyist, don't worry. El Malo is user-friendly and easy to use. You can unleash your creativity and experiment with different art styles without extensive training or experience. We're confident El Malo will be a fantastic addition to your toolkit. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two.